This is Ben with bkashaaudio.com. In this video, I'll show you how to make your first basic patch with automatonism. If you haven't seen my first tutorial on getting started, be sure to watch that before you embark on this. Now to start making our patch, we are in the blank canvas view. And if you press the escape key, it'll bring up your modules menu. The first thing that we want to put in every patch is our Maestro DAC. This is our digital to analog converter and this is what allows us to get audio from our patch out to the sound card so that we can hear it. So in every single patch that you make you will want one of these Maestro 4 modules. The next thing that we want to bring up is a basic oscillator. So I'll select the basic oscillator and we have to make a connection from this basic oscillator to our Maestro 4 module. To do this, make sure that you're in the edit mode. The edit mode is denoted by the small pointing finger icon and performance mode by this regular mouse cursor. You can toggle between them by using Control E on your keyboard. So while in edit mode, hover over the input or output port and you'll see this red X icon. If you click and drag, it will make the connection. Now you can see that I clicked and dragged and it didn't work a couple of times, so it's a bit finicky, but we've made our connection. Now if we don't want this connection, you can go back into edit mode, select it, it'll be highlighted blue, and you can press the delete key on your keyboard and it'll go away. But I do want this connection, so I'll redraw it, and I'll flip into performance mode using Control E and just lower this volume. So we have an oscillator that is going out to our Maestro 4 and it is creating audio. But it's not very interesting. So let's make it more interesting by creating a sequence of notes. To do that, we'll add in a step sequencer. And I'm going to silence the audio by simply setting DSP to off. Now we have a step sequencer here and if we connect it to the pitch input of our oscillator and re-enable audio, nothing is happening. What we need is we need a clock to drive this step sequencer so it actually goes through each step. So we'll create a clock and we'll create a connection to the clock input. Now if we enable audio alright so you can hear we have different pitches playing and if we adjust the clock rate we adjust the speed. Additionally, if we adjust these sliders, we can adjust the pitch of the notes played. And this slider on the bottom will allow us to adjust the scale that they adhere to. So we have a basic oscillator, and we have it playing different pitches but we currently don't have any sort of envelope for this patch. So we need an ADSR. We'll go back to our modules and we'll select the ADSR module. And in addition to this, we'll need a VCA, a voltage controlled amplifier. The ADSR will feed the VCA So let's patch from the step sequencer into the ADSR. And then we'll take the output of the ADSR 
and patch it to the CV input of the VCA because the ADSR is driving the VCA. For the VCA to have an effect on the oscillator, we need to select our current connection that goes from the oscillator to the maestro and delete it because we need to have the basic oscillator pass through the VCA. Then we'll patch the output of the VCA to the channel 1 input of the maestro. So I'm going to adjust our envelope, or our ADSR, and you can hear already that it has an effect. Now that's a pretty cool sound, but it's a bit dry. So let's add in a reverb. We'll add in a milliverb module. And I want to keep the dry signal, but I also want to have the reverb signal to mix in. So I'm going to preemptively lower the volume of everything so I don't clip my screen recording software. Jump back into edit mode and I will make an additional connection from the VCA to the input of the milliverb and then pass the left and right channels to the maestro All right, and we have a cool first modular patch in automatonism. Now, if we want to save this, you can press Enter on your keyboard, or you can click Save. And your patch will be saved and can be opened up later for use however you like. In later tutorials, I'll show you how to control your patch using MIDI input, as well as how to get the audio into your digital audio workstation for use in production. If you like this tutorial, don't forget to like and subscribe, and visit bkashaaudio.com for more tutorials.